this uh, little speed up video, I'm going to show you how to create a pool for a T5240 systems running LDUM 3.0. Uh, I only have an x86 pool, so I will go and discover my T server. Uh, entering the IP address for the systems, uh, then it will be put in under unassigned systems. Uh, you can see here I have a Spock system now in the unassigned systems. I'm going to create a pool. I'm going to call the Spock demo pool. I'm going to give it a virtual IP address. I will now be choosing the Spock hypervisor instead of the SIN. Uh, and then I will be given the system that I have here. It's a system available. And the pool is now created. Uh, if you go in under information of the systems, you will see I have 128 uh, processors in this system. So if I'm locking in again, you will see I have now an x86 pool and a Spock pool. In the next videos, I'm going to show you how to create a Solaris 10. I will show you how to that you can reassign CPUs under uh, in on a running systems, how performance goes up. So pretty cool. And I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial on how to create a Spark pool. Thank you.